like I'm father, like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man, like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello, everyone. This is Nagato, and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showcasing on how to play Neo Geo ROMs on your modded PlayStation Vita or your PS TV. With that being said, as well, please be sure to follow my social media so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials for my channel. If you guys do want to support my channel in any shape or form, you can feel free to donate via my PayPal, and there will be in the link in the description below. And as always, this is purely optional, but I will be really thankful if you guys ever decide to, you know, donate to me via that way but with that being said we could go ahead and get started on the prerequisites and talk about the items and things you need for this video so in this video you need a modded playstation vita or pst via hankaku h Core, or the new trinity hack also your system needs to be either between firmware 3.60 to 3.70 firmware as well you need to be on the latest version of vita shell you also need the latest version of retro that is built in for the neo geo emulator and also you need of course neo geo games to play this i won't link those in the description of course and also you need a filezilla ftp client either that program or use your usb cable to you know transfer files over and last but not least i just want to give out a special thanks to the flow and also lib retro aka retro arc for you know making you know retro arc itself and as well i just want to thank everyone who ever supported my channel and last but not least i also want to thank fb alpha for making this build for the vita with that being said we could go ahead and get started on the video all right guys so once we're on our playstation vita or pstv of choice and i'm assuming that y'all did get all your prerequisites ready for this video what we need to do now is go ahead and open up vita shell so that's what i'm doing here and then once you guys are into vita shell if you guys have to you know use hr core or the trinity exploit to do this process first go ahead and do that of course but since i'm on hankaku enzo i don't have to do that stuff but once you guys are into vita shell what we need to do is you're going to decide to basically you know transfer files via from usb which i do recommend for this process since you, if you have a lot of uh, neo geo rom it'll be faster to transfer that way but since i am streaming i can't use that method so that's why i'm going to be using files of the ftp but the way how you could toggle in and out of that if we hit select on our or excuse me start first and if we you know toggle up and down and where it says select button if you want to do usb and transfer it that way just have that toggle by hitting left and right on your d-pad but if not go ahead and basically toggle uh to ftp which i'm going to be using for here so right now i'm going to go ahead and hit select and what should happen your playstation vita's ip it'll be different from mine but it will be showcased on your screen uh just leave your vita right now on the screen and what we're going to do is go back to the pc all right guys so since on the pc as shown here and you did download this file description below it'll be this one right here and it will have basically all of the neo uh, geo emulator for retro arc like assets in here and it's very important that you have all of these files into one thing and it'll be in a zip file so it'll be easy uh with renoir to uh, extract that but once you have that and you have your neo geo uh, games they'll be in dot zips as well um i won't provide you know links to the actual games just use google but what we could do now is go ahead and open up files of the ftp client if you do using that method but if you're using usb then just hit select that way what we need to do of course is go ahead and open up our um, server so i'm actually going to x this out and just showcase you know how to do it in filezilla all you would have to do is just where it says the search bar for your ip you just got to type it in so that's what i'm doing now yours will be different from mine's but our ports will be the same which is 1337 so that's what i'm doing right now hit port go ahead and hit quick connect on your screen it may take a little while for it to pop up if you get this insecure ftp connection error just go ahead and hit okay and if you have unsafe uh, homebrew unticked and hankaku settings you should see all your directories if not just go into hankaku settings and do that but what we need to do is go into ux0 and we basically need to go into our red arc roms folder if you don't have this folder and you need to make it what we could do is just right click excuse me let me go here to the side right click and then hit create directory and enter it and then you can just type your name and whatnot from there but once you have retro arcs underscore roms you need to go ahead and put your neo geo games in here so that's what i'm going to do now 
I do recommend the USB method since it's going to be faster but now my games are transferring over as well what we need to do is on the root of UX0 so just to make it a little easier I'm gonna go back to my directory right here and I'm we're gonna have to drag our Neo folder to our memory card right here because this is going to be using the FB alpha emulator so if I go ahead and scroll this you see all of my games and files are transferring over so what I'm gonna do now is just wait for that process to do its thing so I'm gonna stop the video here and once it's all done I'll show you guys the next steps on the video on what we need to do a few moments later Alrighty guys, so as shown here, all of my Neo Geo games have been transferred over from my desktop to my Vita. And now basically all of the contents, uh, including the games, like the Neo Geo um, emulator itself, is on my memory card. So what we need to do now is go ahead and exit out of FileZilla. I'm going to go boot my Vita onto the sh screen right now. And now as shown here basically you can go ahead and cancel out your ftp server what we need to do now is go ahead into ux0 scroll all the way down to the neo folder and it'll be all capital letters we need to go ahead and install this vpk file right here so it shouldn't take too long for this uh emulator to install since it's only like 6.80 megabytes but if it does take you know quite too long i may just chop the video right now Alright, so it's basically finished installing, so if I go ahead and back out to Vita Shell, you should see RetroArc FB Alpha 2012 package file, and we could just go ahead and run it just like any other homebrew for the Vita. Shouldn't take too long for it to boot up, but once it's done, it's kind of like uh, RetroArc as well, and all we need to do is go ahead and load content, so if we scroll down to the second option, hit circle. Go into select file, go into UX0, scroll all the way down into RetroArc ROMs, and then go to our Neo Geo Games folder. We could go ahead and load up any game of choice. I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to um, one of my favorite games for the Neo Geo, uh, Waku Waku 7. And then it should take a little moment for it to boot up. So just wait for about like five to 10 seconds on the screen and basically, you know, it will boot up. I won't play any volume due to like copyright issues and stuff like that. But as shown here, this is the game running in real time. And it looks uh, pretty good on the Vita as well. And I'm using my uh, 2000 Vita. It probably looks even better on an OLED model, aka the 1000. But yep, I am playing uh, Waku Waku 7 on my Vita in real time. And this game is pretty cool as well as a fighting game. But yeah, that's essentially how you play uh, Neo Geo games onto your modded PS Vita. I was about to say PS4, but if you guys did like this um, video, please be sure to leave a like. And please be sure to, you know, share this with your friends. And make sure, you know, to leave any comments down below if you have any issues. With that being said, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching. So he's smooth.